Looking from the outside in, Tranmere are a club you literally cannot predict. In the National League for many seasons, Mickey Mellon got them promoted to League 2 and straight up to League 1. The club ex-Premier League ref Mike Dean absolutely adores were then relegated from League 1 and then always spend time just everywhere in the League 2 table. They'll push for promotion, they'll go mid-table, and now they're changing their squad quite a little bit. They're changing managers. Ian Dawes is the new man. As today, we rebuild Tramir Rovers in League 2 of England with a twist. I'm not wearing a headset. That's the twist. I'm only messing. We've got 2.3 million to spend here in this historic league, which we have, of course, took Rochdale out, put Wrexham in, Changed all the teams around us. Well, it's legitimate. Playing here near Merseyside. And of course, we're making a rule up now that we can only sign one free agent a season. So we don't go mad with it. There he is lifting the t-shirt, of course. Oh, the kit, should I say. Didn't look anything like doors, but hey-ho. This is what the team looks like straight away. And I'll tell you one thing for sure. It's not staying that way. Not as strong as I expected it to be as well. The defense actually looks pretty decent for League 2 standard. Midfield as well, we've got some decent ratings, but it's goalkeeper we're gonna search for first. With that money we have, checking the academy, are we gonna have a decent player? Yes, we are, Benjamin Robson. Oh, I absolutely love having it. Others are definitely not ready, but I don't care. We've got our main man. Our objective is weird as well. Avoid finishing in the bottom half of the league. That should be doable. And then building up towards automatic promotion. And at the start of this save, there is a lot of young strikers here. So I'm gonna actually start selling a few of these. Charlie Jolly. The ex-Wigan man is gone, as he's actually making room for a new striker. Dale Taylor is the first man to break the window, and he's cost 800k, 18-year-old from Burton Albion. Solid. And he's going to be joined by another next League One player. Lucas Ness is just a backup centre half. Two decent players. But if you think that's it, you're definitely mistaken. The only problem is still no keeper before the first game. Against Barrow, who Jolly's just gone to. Get the lads up for this, Ian. We need to get firing. Let's not embarrass ourselves here, despite the keeper problem. Get in there! Dale Taylor with the debut goal. And finally, another keeper. We've signed Tarnbell? Or Tarnbell? Tarbell. Tarbell is his name. He's come from America. He's had a long flight, and it's even got my brain going. Andrew Tarbell from Houston Dynamo. He should be the missing piece of the puzzle. There he is in the goal, and this team now is definitely built for a full season in League Two. Come on, come on, come on. What does this division have in store for us? Top of League Two! Come on! We've hardly made any signings, but Tramir at top. We've got MK Dons, McDons just behind us, Accrington. Wrexham, Mansfield, Bradford, Salford, Grimsby are in 10th. I'd love to see them promoted with us. This is brilliant. I think most of it will be down to Robson, but the defence like Dacus Cogley and Bristow, our fullbacks, are brilliant. Same with O'Connor in the midfield, and Taylor up front is just getting better. We have had a few recalled like Robert Glatzel, Chalmers and turn a cook, but that doesn't bother me. We've still got 528k as well in the budget. Could that be one more player to strengthen us? And to be fair, I can't really find anyone with the money that we have. I've tried loan deals, but the only thing we're doing is loaning players out. As that will end the end of the window. End the end. Let's see how we do it at the end of the whole season now. As it is promotion. Yes, we bottled the league to oh, McDonald's. I don't like any of the teams that are up there with us. Well, they're all predicted. That's why I don't like them. I like it when there's a surprise. Wrexham up there. Accrington, who just went down. Salford, Stockport, and Bradford. The big budgets up there. And Grimsby. Oh, 16th. Not good. Below Doncaster. But I will take promotion with Tranmere here. 89 points. As Manchester United won the FA Cup. The Carabao goes to Tottenham Hotspur. And the Papa John's. Till newly promoted Leighton Orient in the division above. Couldn't really have asked for a better season this first time round, but Benjamin Robson, we probably do lose him, as it was Kane Hemmings with 15 goals, Lewis with 7, 
Them two aren't even starters. Dale with two goals and two assists. Horrific from the Northern Irishman. Fight for promotion is what the board want. They want us jumping straight into the championship. I don't think that's going to happen. They want a midfielder slash forward and the academy utilising. Let's try and get that done, shall we? We've been gifted five million with the expectation, expectation should I say, of promotion and that budget it shouldn't collide. And just to try and make money, we are going to be transfer listing Benjamin Robson this year. And there he goes. He's leaving the club immediately. Just seems like he couldn't wait to get out of here. Off to Osasuna. That kick does look nice around his neck for almost 40 million. And playing preseason at the Parc de France is not what I expected. Playing Stade de Rem, some good teams and actually scoring goals against them. But that doesn't mean we're not going to be making some mammoth signings. And I do love Dacus Cogley. But I couldn't pass on this man. Paying the release clause of Nathan Hariel of Philadelphia Union. He's cost a lot of money, but he's a lot of player. But alongside him, it won't stop us signing another keeper as well. Strengthening the bat line in Anderson. The Icelandic comes across from Reading. A friend for Hariel in Serge Gnoma from Red Bull and he is some player. And finally for now, a new number nine in Tommy Conway. When Taylor's scoring two and getting two assists, it tells me we need a striker and we've picked him up for two and a half million. Didn't want to go too crazy, but you can still tell. Midfield now needs strengthening and Davies, the captain, might have to go. But we're going to go with that team, of course, that we have already built so far for Wickham Wanderers in League One. League One, eh? I can't believe we're there after one season. And we're winning our first game. Morris, Tommy Conway and Gnoma, who is the new Robinson, basically. Good win, but won't stop. Never stop. This is the next man through the door, Ryan Trevitt of Brentford. And don't think we're done there, because we should have two more signings. Richard Sheehan's the first one from Ireland, because we've just got Bambo Diaby as well to join him. So that rounds it up with the 40 million still mostly in the bank. We've signed quite a few players, but you can see the wages are really down there. Ngoma is on £700 a week. The board are very happy with us, and I would be too. When you built this kind of squad, Trammy should be going up again. And before this next season, we're going to check the academy. We've got Sean Brooks, who looks decent. But it's really about the team at the moment. How is it doing? It's oh, beating Grimsby and the Papa John's. That actually doesn't sit well with me. It's 15th. It's not a fight for promotion at all. It's a survival fight. We are doing it though. 31 points with 5 points above Cambridge. Just survived, Tranmere. Just survived somehow. Team's definitely doing well rating-wise. The defense is getting better. Bristow is an unbelievable player. We've got Conway up front, who looks like he may have scored goals. He's got nine, but to be fair, that's the same as Trevitt. And now that's got me making signings again. The position in the league, of course. Matt Smith, not Doctor Who but the MK Dons midfielder. And we sold our striker, Taylor, because he was knocking on and not going up in ratings. Mats Kaiser is the man to replace. His objective is simple. That's his rating. He's 17 year old. Score enough goals off the bench to keep us in this division. And am I going to get sacked here? Because we finished 14th. We did go above Wrexham in the end and MK Dons, the two other promoted teams but it was nowhere near the fight for promotion with Huddersfield winning it. FA Cup winners went to Manchester City, Carabao to United, Papa John's to Mansfield Town over Donny Rovers, and I am genuinely fearing for the job. A lot of unhappy faces with Conway scoring 15, Trevitt with 11, O'Connor with 10, and Ngoma with 8. We've built a decent team. Sorry for one underperforming season. Okay, so we've made it to the next year. Phew. Now we need to sign players to make sure we make it another year. We need to win the title. That is just the expectation. And that is what we've got to go out and do with a different nationality from the club. I don't know how much money we've still got left. They've bloody took some offers. 14 million in the bank. Still enough to get promoted with. Especially with this team. Come on. One more defender, I think. Oh, I do like Hawks on the wing, but maybe he needs replacing. And 
I don't really know what else. Saying that though, we've just turned Sean Brooks into a centre back. And the 17 year old's rating is very good. 14 million. 14 million's not bad actually, because it makes it sure that we're not going crazy. And I just want one addition to start us off with right here. Jimmy Dunn of QPR coming across to Rovers. That looks a lot better already. Hawks, I trust. We stand with him. Smith as well. And Trevitt being new signings. This tram mere side looks like it could boss League One this season. And we start this season off with Shrewsbury. So this is the real tester to see how we'll do in the league. I think we should beat them. Can we beat Salop? Yes, we do. Dacus Cogley, Conway and Trevitt. And as I admire the league form going through the months, we have to be. Oh, no, we're not top actually. Only because Barnsley have lost one game, but we've been brilliant. Second place. It's not over till it's over. Reading, Birmingham, Bristol and Wickham are putting the pressure on us. As Wigan aren't doing well, Peterborough definitely not. And Wrexham going down again. That is shocking. As our ratings in the team, I don't get why Diaby's very unhappy. But Tommy Conway, 76, he is our shining star. And the board are absolutely fuming with us. But when I turn to this screen, we are promoted to the championship by four points. We were eight points off Barnsley who ran away with it. Still, be less critical. Yeah, we didn't win the title, but we did everything else oh we did do the financial oh big deal we had a 30 time scorer in tommy conway 22 and 16 assists for josh hawks i trusted him and i trusted trevitt as well fa cup is won by manchester city carabao by united again and we're not going to be winning the papa johns in this save again because it goes to the bantams already rebuilt them and if we can keep our job going into the next season i will be a very happy man once more and we're championship Tramir finally, as they expect. A mid-table finish in the championship. Okay, I think our ratings are up in the squad. A crucial forward. We've got Tommy Conway. I mean, I expect mid-table. At the minimum, with this amazing squad at the moment. That squad, we could sell any player to make money alongside the 15 million we've already got. And we're not going to mess about. First player is in. The board want a crucial forward, but we're going for a crucial midfielder. Can play across the line. Santiago Homonchenko. Please tell me I've got that name right. Very happy with that one. He's going to probably go in for Smith, but he can play left wing instead of Hawks. He got loads of assists, though. And fair is fair. Play well, you stay in the team. But at the same time, we have lost Tommy Conway, who's gone for 33.5 million to Valencia. I thought it was personally a good deal. And now we can get a new crucial forward through the door. And in his place comes Jake Coffey. He's a Gabonese striker. I think you know what that means. Cost 10 million, which to be fair is a lot in the championship, but that's only a third of Conway's selling price. And also Giacomo Gallo, who we've paid a release clause of. Or is it a release clause? Yeah. And it was quite cheap. And the first game, Millwall. We're not at the den. They're coming to us. Please get a win under his belt to start off with. That would be perfect. Homenchenko and Kaiser off the bench. And we've made quite a few signings from America or the USA, but the, the MLS, if you want to say it. But it's been so good for 9 million. Carlos Andres Gomez. Look at the man. I think this is the team that we're going to go into the rest of the season with. And to be fair, mid tables expected. That is the minimum that we should be getting. Jimmy Dunn, the captain, is going to try and lead us to where we need to be and i'm sorry throw everything i've just said out the window because looking at this team we should be in a title charge as wingers as midfielders as forwards defense could do a little bit with improving but my days brooks is a youth player who started coming through as well and hog on the bench He's just come out of the academy. He is brilliant. As in the table, we are fourth. So it's not too bad. I just fear the playoffs, but still West Ham lead the way with Southampton, Watford and us. I think we're the third best team in the league and we're proving to be fourth. Let's just jump one up, please. Just strength now adding to the squad still though. Manuel Moseglio from Zulte Vagrem is going to join us. And the one name one day is right here arriving from Brighton Hove Albion. Wallace is very old, but he's going to strengthen with experience at the back of our defence. That's the bench fully strengthened now, and I absolutely love 
This Tranmere team we have right now is one of my favourites, maybe ever, just because of the variety of players. And the team has ultimately put us in the playoffs. The Swansea.com Stadium for the first one. Interesting. Bomb of Southampton, Swansea and us all in these playoffs. So very, very exciting as in the league. We finished fourth, so we stayed put. Southampton dropped out and Watford were the team to go up. So we're not the best team in the playoffs. But we've got to play like we are. 18 goals for Jake Coffey as well. Would Tommy Conway have got that? I don't know. As then Carlos Andres Gomez with 16. I just think this is one of the best signings I've picked up on career mode. Easily. FA Cup won by Arsenal. Still nowhere near this. Carabao goes to Man United over Tottenham. And we go to Wales to play here against Swansea. It's a 2-2 draw to start us off with Trevitt the saviour. Please make sure it's better at home. It is though. Gomez and Wallace. Told you experience would come out on top. That puts us against Bournemouth at a neutral ground. So Dwight McNeil must play for them. He's got player of the month for them. Curtis Jones as well. Good team. And they've just beaten Southampton, so it will be hard. Wembley awaits these two teams fighting for a place in the Prem. And it is us. It's Coffee and Homanchenko. Two new signings. Take Drammy Rovers straight to the Premier League. 39 million. That is very good for a Tramir budget in the Premier League. Just don't expect mid-table. Avoid relegation is perfect, of course. Different player from a nationality, then youth development, yada, yada, yada. Team is looking extremely strong. Trevitt's been good, but Monzeglio's rating has surpassed him. I think that's going to be starting 11, but defence has to be strengthened for me. And we've got to be very smart with business in this window. So... The defence will be strengthened. Here is the first man. Here he is. He hasn't got an in-game face, but Leo Schelde of Leeds United has come. Here he is. There we go. Under 10 million is a steal. And this next one is another huge one. An unfaced one, but an unfazed one as well. Facundo Butroguenote. Oh, Buenanote. Buenanote. That's it, I think. From Brighton Hove Albion. We've stole their youngster. Leaves us with an overload in attacking midfielders, but I couldn't pass on him. Literally. I was just there staring at him. So, Jimmy Dunn, the captain, is the lowest rated going into this season. But I trust him before his first game against Wolverhampton. Come on, lads. We need to stay in this Premier League. And starting off with a win would do us justice. There we go. Monzeglio off the bench and Buonanotte. So I said we've got too many cams. But maybe that's a good sign. And one more signing. Abdullah Kamara from Fiorentina. Thought under 10 million it was a steal to try and steal a Premier League place next year. And it's mission success so far. Mission very successful. 12th in the Premier League. We're clear, really. Seven point gap as it stands. Are we close to the top six? Uh, an eight point gap between us and Aston Villa. Okay, only five points between United. Take that every day of the week, don't we? We've got no money to sign players, but looking at the team, we've definitely got players that will stay quite a while, I hope, in Gomez. Coffee and Ngoma on that wing. How fast is he? Unbelievably fast. Some of the signings that we made though. Buenanote, Homanchenko, Hadiel and Chelde. Must be four of my favourite signings in career mode ever apart from of course Gomez. Love the signings we've made. And that is going to be the end of the window right there. Ten hours straight up skipped because I'm so confident in our squad. I didn't really find a need to change it that much. And we've just had a draw in the last game against Manchester United, which I thought I'd push us up the table. But it's actually just kept us in the division. It's what we needed to do, though. I'm not going to be too harsh on us. We've survived just above the relegation places. Man United did get sixth comfortably. And we were miles away. Sheffield United in 10th like the war couple of seasons back in real life. Will they do that this year as Manchester City win the FA Cup, the Carabao, Liverpool. A decent season and look at the reins. I want to take a pit stop and look at these. A lot of unhappy faces because game time's harder to share around really, isn't it? But I am happy with the attacking line anyway. One more midfielder, defenders for next year. Are a must. That's 22 goals for Jake Coffey. How's he only 83 rated still? Buenanote in double digits for both here at his new home in Tranmere. 12 goals, 10 assists. Homanchenko, what a signing. Love the signing of this man. And Goma still doing brilliant. 
and of course, Carlos Andres Gomez. Finish mid-table, so one expectation up from the last, and then a crucial defender. You're reading my mind, Mr. Boardman, as then youth development. A bit more focus on that. Okay, okay. How much money are you going to give us to dance with, though? 38 million. It's all right. It means probably everything goes into the defense, however. And we'll start business off here with not a defender, but a goalkeeper. So just behind, Joss Jansen, 21-year-old, 75 rated. One for their El Futuro. And the first game of the season, as we're still trying to sign a centre-back, is Newcastle this time. Why, I? This is going to be a fun one, because, of course, they've got all the big players now. But we still managed to beat them, helped by a red card, Gomez and Buena Notte, I'm really, really growing upon. Get in there, as get in there again, because we've just signed our new centre-half. João Victor from Norwich City, come on! He's cost us 24 million, and he's a very good player. So we've got Victor and Wallace at the back, the two Brazilians with like... Really aggressive names, which I think is brilliant because it'll scare strikers off. Ooh, and uh, just quick transition straight into our team, which has just come on leaps and bounds. Look at his forward line. I don't know why Homachenko hasn't been playing much. And Wallace. I'm guessing it's threaded Jimmy Dunning, but then Smith shouldn't be replacing Omanchenko. That's why I hate simulating games. Oh my days, it doesn't matter. Play whoever you want, because we're 10th in the Premier League. Getting closer to European football. Four points off Palace in fourth, but I see Chelsea and Newcastle in the mix. When they're in the mix, nobody's safe. How much money do we have as well? We have 7 million, not much to invest. Bids in. For our players, you saw my shortlist there, which you shouldn't have done. And the last couple of months actually look positively, well, positive on the whole. Is that good for our league form? Yes, it is. Tramira in Europe, surely. Sixth position. We have to make sure a team above us wins a trophy to be in I think it's the Europa League. We've broke the mold of the top six and made it a top seven with United just behind us. FA Cup goes to Tottenham over Burnley. So that should be us in European football. Chelsea win the cup. Definitely in Europe. Coffee now up to 86 rated with 21 goals. Samanchenko didn't play much, but he must have played in the second half. 11 goals. Buenanote got the same with Gomez on 10. Mozagilo on 7 and Ngoma only got 4, but 11 assists for the wonder kid. And this season, Bord are actually happy with us, which is weird once you get in Europe. They always hate you, as we're going to finish in the Europa League spot again. Round of 16, quarterfinals. Okay, they're being easy on us. A young player signed, which is the crucial objective. 53 million given, so it is... Uh, a, a bonus to last time, but not as much as I expected still. And for once, for once, no signings before the first game of the season. Burnley, bloody Burnley, because I can't find the player. But I found one, actually. I, I, I tell a lie, but I just can't afford him. Yeah, we're going to have to set us, uh, the expectations a little bit lower, but we still always win our first game of the Prem season. And we've actually made it all the way to deadline day. Still without our player, we've been rejected once, but we're going in again. We're going in for this man, Oscar Janssen from Atletico de Madrid. Wanted to make sure we got him on a long contract by going into the negotiations. And here he comes for 41 million. Look at the bat line. They're all on international duty, but sorry, Jimmy Dunn, you've been a fantastic servant. You still will be here. But you'll be on the bench for this mega team in the coming. As we've also got our Europa League group, which is Helsinki, Hearts and OGC Nice. And it's straight to the end of the season for Ian Dawsman. Or not the end of the season. Halfway through. I'll get something right soon. But we've got the league form right. We are joint on points with Chelsea in fifth position. And Man United. And only seven points off Arsenal leading the way. Of course, I do care about the Europa just a little bit more at the moment. And we're in the preliminary round against Salzburg. We finished second to OGC Nice. But we threw. Look at Janssen's rating as well. He's just got better. We've got Janssen in goal and Janssen at centre-back. That's how I'm going to differentiate it. Team looks brilliant rating-wise. And 10 million's really not enough to change it, is it? And we made it through the preliminary round. 3-2 into the round of 16. Where are we? There we are beating Villarreal. 6-5 on aggregate. Quarterfinals. We breezed past Spurs. 
But then we've got Bayern Munich. Bloody Bayern Munich. For once, though, I do think our team is good enough to give them at least a huge shot and at least a big upset. Please get them ready, Ian. We need a victory now. A huge game against Oshimen and Odegaard. What a front two that is. And it is a draw. Coffee, Aubameyang's regen against his ex-rivals. This game has everything riding on it. We've got an injury to Hariel, but we'll just have to sim it anyway. Oh, we've won. We've beat them by a Munich. Coffee and Monzeglio and Victor Oshimen. We love beating Bayern Munich. On to the final. Manchester City at the Etihad. Are you joking? How much more of an advantage do you want to give them? Let's rip into it, though. Rip the band-aid off. Haaland running at us. Hadiel injured. Do we stand a chat? <coughs> Gomez and Ngoma. Gomez and Ngoma. Beating Man City. I think we're the world's best team, actually. Europa League comes to Rovers. And I want to check the league immediately after. See if we've actually done it through the league as well. Because I expect us to have done, really. And I didn't even have to skip. It's right there in front of my face. Four points over Manchester United. Eight points behind the team we just beat. Can we actually be on for the Prem next year? Because... What a season. FA Cup went to Newcastle. City beaten in two finals. Unbelievable, Jeff. Carabao goes to City, though, so they have got one. Champions League football for these lads. We do have an 88-rated striker, an 87 cam, and a 90-rated right winger. I love Gomez, but I think it may be time he goes. Maybe another midfielder. Maybe another goalkeeper and a defender. But I'm looking at the bench as well. Kaiser is not a backup striker anymore. I mean, Coffey did score 36 goals on his own. Still, there's no sign of his other striker. Homonchenko with 22 from midfield. Buenote. Oh, Buenatone. I've even forgotten to say his name already. Just get on to next season. Champions League football here for Tranmere. They want it again next year with the quarterfinal. And reach the semis. A crucial midfielder or forward. It has to be a crucial midfielder, surely. Surely bored. 124 million to spend as well. That is a lot more like it. And we can do business with that. So let's dive straight in with that. What a cash that we've got in the bank. First one is an Espanolian. If that's the way you even say it. Here is Gonzalez. I'll show you this guy right here. He's a central midfielder. Juan Gonzalez from Celta Vigo. Pay quite a bit for him. Gets the board straight off his back and does replace Kamara as the team looks brilliant, I must say. I think I just want a goalkeeper. And I think we've made the biggest signing we've ever made on a rebuild so far. For 3 million or 2.7, Jan Oblak at the age of 36 is just a man we couldn't pass on. We've got him for so cheap, it gives us money elsewhere. And he's one of the world's best at 90 rated. What a steal for the prices. Fullbacks are now the weakest. But then again, I love Hariel and I love Helge. We've got the two H's. Triple, no, double H. Tried to make it a pun there. Add Hummanchuk and it's triple H. We've got a deal in place. But before that deal goes through, the Super Cup. Bayer Leverkusen won the Champions League. No offence to them, but it kind of fills me with faith a little bit. As they do win on penalties still. And I didn't know the fact they won it before making a signing from them. Tommy Conway returns as the backup striker that I said we needed. Spent a lot of money. But he is home. And can we make it? Four wins out of four in our Premier League seasons. Brighton are the team hosting. I'm going to find this difficult, but we don't. Gomez, love it. And before we get fully cooking, that is our Champions League group. Dortmund and Sporting's going to be difficult. Alkmaar, no offence, boys, but I think we should get past you. I don't know if we've got through that, but you can see the league. Sixth position, 31 points. We're still in a race with the top couple, I'm pretty sure. We're 13 points off top of the league. It's not really doable, though, is it? Haven't won the Premier League in so long, but the Champions League, we're through. We've got Juventus in the round of 16. We finished second. Oh, my days. What a group. Sporting won it. But it was eight points for each other team, and we go through on a neutral goal difference of zero. And I still do want to strengthen, even though we've got through. Iham Osu is a backup centre-back who can just be on the bench, really. Doesn't threaten Zhao and Jansen. He's just one rating higher than Jimmy Dunn. And that is harsh, because I love Jimmy Dunn. He was his captain, of course, but... 
He's got to go to the strongest player. And after that, straight to Juventus. Come on, Tranmere. Let's do this for Mike Dean. Two 90-rated players in his team now in Coffey and Ngoma on the wing. Can it get us through? Only a nil-nil. Please, lads, get the job done here against them. And we do, you know, Gomez with a hat trick. It's a Gomez show. A player I've said I'm going to replace. I've said he's my favourite signing. He is now. And it's Lee afterwards. So I do fancy his chances in this game, you know. Come on. Good draw. As long as we don't draw in the first leg, which we pick up a 3-1 win. Zhao Victor now suspended. It's a good job we made them two signings, isn't it? But actually, in the end, it doesn't matter because Coffey with two and Janssen, a centre-back with one, the unsuspended centre-back, puts a 6-2 straight through. There's the semi-finals. We have Internationale. And Real Madrid are already beating Leipzig. Let's see if we can beat these here. We've got the home advantage. No suspended players. A 1-1 draw. Just need a second leg. Masterclass to get towards the final. Buena notte. And Gomez sees us through. Trammy Rovers in the first season in the Champions League. Fair to say we've got a powerhouse of a squad. But make the final. We face Real Madrid. As presumed. It's at the Metropolitano. So we're playing at their place, really, in Spain. The rivals, should we say, as we finish fourth in the Prem. So it will be Champions League next season if we fail to win. FA Cup went to Arsenal this season. And hey, we won the Carabao Cup. Finally, a domestic trophy won. That is brilliant as 32 goals for Coffey is. 92 rated. Gomez got 22. Homonchenko with 13. Double digits for Buenonote on both stats. Janssen... The defender getting four goals, three assists. Amazing stuff. And Gomia only likes assists on Goma. 16 of those, 93. Overall, are you mental? Still, we've got one game to do it. Doesn't matter on the stats if we don't beat the Madridsters. So here we go. Finale day. Vinicius Jr. on the TFO. Of course, we have to travel to Spain, which isn't really fair. Yes, it's their rival stadium that we're playing at, but... Surely the home advantage. Look into that UEFA. First time in a while we've played a team apart from Paris in the Champions League final as we need to get off to a good start. We do have quality players as well, which I'm feeling confident about as the ball whipped in early on for Coffey. And it's a way for them. Al Black and Janssen, a centre-back both, actually did come from Atletico de Madrid though. So maybe a bit of a homecoming for them. Still don't want to leave with the trophy. Is that a good move from Diogo Jota? Less than 10 minutes on the clock, however, and Real Madrid have took the lead. Bad start to the game, but here we've got to start going again. That's a good ball from for Coffey onto Gomez. Here we go. That is a good link up. Try to pull it across the goal. Still keep this attack alive. No. And Hakimi in the middle now. That's a good ball onto one of their forward players. Good save. From our keeper, still, it's, it's too easy for them to get a shot off. Jan Oblak saving us a little bit there as Ungoma. No one can lay a glove on him. He's the fastest man alive. Look at this run. Ball into the box, headed away. Struggling to break through them a little bit. Look how nervy we're defending. I think that's Jao Victor, who's gone down injured after making a mistake for the first goal. But still, we could make this situation better. Ungoma on a run. He's just got the keeper to beat. Oh, what a save, Manamash the Vili. A Sui to come on. On in the defense as well. What a chance that was. Best of the half so far. Still towards the back post. Looking for him. Get there before the keeper. And that's brought us towards the end of the half. How are we not at least level? Dominated on chances. Dominated the first half straight up. There's got to be an offside in that again. Real Madrid very direct with the way they play. And it is working out for them. Coffee, get a run on. Now we're onside. And this is our opportunity. There's a chance to try and square it in. Defender in the way, still falling to our number nine. Oh, he's missed. And we are all over Real Madrid in this second half. Absolutely all over them. Vinicius Junior, though, still with a chance. So dominant in this second half. Still Ngoma. Just get inside, mate. Just try and cut inside into the box. You've been the dominant player so far. Tries the skill inside. The ball still bouncing around. Not long left in this half as well. I haven't been paying attention to the clock much. We need to get this goal quick. That's a cut inside. I'm not going to sway you this time. It's a save. But it falls straight back into the path for Coffey. And if anyone was going to score this game, it was going to be our number nine. A great chance taken. Very, very well. Just palmed away from the Georgian in goal. 
and straight to the main man to slot it home. Nine minutes now. Nine minutes to try and steal a winner. This is Gomez. This is good football. Come on. Coffee again. He's just one on one with the keeper. Rolls him this time. He's missed as well. It's a goal kick. Keep on going though, lads. Homachenko. Is that a good ball? It is. He's found our man up front and it's in the back of the net. It's Gonzalez, the midfielder. And it is 2-1 Tranmere. Very late on at the Wanderer Metropolitano. Whatever you want to call the stadium. We may have just done this. Show yourself to those fans, mate, because you have just done it. But Homachenko's pass. Just don't undermine it. What a ball. What a slot in. And now we hold on. Hold on. It's his first goal in Tranmere Rovers colours. But still, Vinicius Junior running at us. We've tried to slide in to get a block. And oh, it's wider the post. Bruno Guimaraes wide of his ex-rival on Black's post to now whack it forward. And we wait on the whistle. And there it goes. Tranmere Rovers from deep behind. 1-0 with, what, 15 minutes of the game left? 20 minutes? And now going to be lifting the Champions League trophy. What a journey. What a scouting range we've had in this series, by the way. Some players I never thought we'd be signing. And I'm pretty sure I just saw Hakimi in goal for them. What a save. What a story. Reminds me of the Bradford one just... Over a week ago, I think it was. The trophy in white and blue. And it will be all black to lift it at the old stadium. I can get behind that. He deserves it. He hasn't won it with Atletico. And now he's come to England to Tranmere. And he's done it on the centre stage. Back at his old home. Which he'll surely return to. But he is retiring after this. As I am retiring from this video. Thank you very much for watching. Get some suggestions down below. Tell me if you want the free agent signings or the free agent rebuilds to continue going. A lot of people in the comments thinking differently about that. But for now, I'll get reading them and I'll see you all later.